Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use mockups. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how mockup works. So, if you have no idea about mockup and how to get started, then this video is for you. Mockups is a powerful web based application for creating wireframes, mockups, and prototypes. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced designer, this tutorial will provide you with the necessary knowledge to get started with mockups and take your design projects to the next level. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the mockups tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. First click on the sign up for free button. This will take you to the sign up page where you will need to provide some basic information to create your account. To sign up, you will need to enter your work email and create a strong password. It's important to choose a password that is difficult for others to guess and contains a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google account, which will make it easier to log in and access your projects in the future. Once you complete the sign up process for mockups, a pop up window will appear asking you to create a new project before landing on your account dashboard. This is the first step towards creating a project in mockups. You have two options when creating a new project, which are blank project and templates. If you want to build a project from scratch, click on blank project. If you want to use a template, select one of the available templates to use in your project. For this tutorial, we will create a new project from scratch. Therefore, we will click on blank project. After clicking on blank project, enter the name of the project you want to create, and then click on create project. This will create a new project and take you to the project dashboard. Once you have created a new project, you can start adding content to it. The left sidebar contains various tools that you can use to add content to your projects. These tools include stencils, pages, outline, templates, images, icons, and comments. First I'll show you what you can actually find in mockups, and then I'll show you how we can use mockups. The stencils panel provides a full library of shapes, stencil categories, and UI kits that you can drag and drop into your project. Another tool that mockups offers is pages. Here you can create, hide, or nest pages that you use in your projects. You can also organize them into folders for easier navigation and access. The outline panel allows you to identify and organize layers or items you use in your project. This tool can be very helpful in keeping track of different components of your project. The templates panel helps you to create reusable items from objects, groups, or SVGs and add them to your library. This can save you time and effort when working on similar projects in the future. The images panel allows you to upload or drag and drop JPG, PNG, or other types of images to your project. This is a convenient way to add visual content to your project. The Icons panel provides access to different icons and emojis that you can browse and use in your project. This can add a fun and creative touch to your designs. Finally, clicking on the Comments tab will open the Comments panel. This is where you will find the library of all comments that have been added to a project. From here you can add comments and filter them. After adding content to your project, you can further customize it by using the panel that opens on the right side of the screen. This panel allows you to modify various aspects of your content, such as size, color, font, and more. However, some stencils in the shapes category have an extra set of controls that allow for additional customization. These stencils are called smart shapes. Smart shapes are stencils with specific formatting capabilities that allow you to quickly adjust and configure their appearance. Once you've added a smart shape to the page, just click on the tiny blue dot and drag in a variety of directions to quickly and intuitively change the properties of the shape. You can make a variety of beautiful shapes without the need for sliders, complicated bezier curves, or complex drawing tools. Just click and drag. The Quick Draw Toolkit makes it fast and easy to sketch up concepts. The drop down arrow next to the diagram button opens a short list of essential shape stencils, as well as the pencil, highlighter, text, and hotspot tools. 
Clicking on any of the pencil, polygon, rectangle, ellipse, line, or arrow tools activates drawing mode. This mode opens a dedicated drawing section of the format panel where you can preset the colors and styles for fills and strokes. While in drawing mode, click and drag the crosshair cursor to change one or more objects. At the bottom of the toolkit, the text button lets you add paragraph stencils with a click and just start typing. And to add a line to your shapes, select Line from the drop down arrow. Then you can draw a line as you want. Next, you can change the size and the style of the line from the right sidebar, as you can see. The next step after designing your project is to export it. If you have a pro membership, you can export your project in multiple formats, including PNG, PDF, HTML, and others. However, if you have a free plan, exporting is not available. Instead, you can share your project with others by clicking on the Sharing button located at the top right hand side of the screen. Once you click on the Sharing button, a pop-up window will appear and you'll have two options for sharing your project. You can either copy the link to share it with someone, or you can share it by typing their email. Select the desired option and share your project with whomever you wish. After sharing your project, you can return to the dashboard by clicking on the N logo of the mockups at the top left corner of the screen. This will open a drop-down menu and you can select Dashboard to be taken to your account dashboard. The dashboard is the main hub of your mockups account, where you can manage your projects, teams, and account settings. It is simple and easy to navigate, with three main tabs located at the top left side of the dashboard. The Projects tab in the Mockups dashboard is where you can manage all your projects. The tab features a left sidebar that provides you with an overview of your projects. The first section in the sidebar is the All Projects section, where you can see all the projects you have created. The Templates section displays all the templates that you can use in your new projects. You can choose a template that suits your project requirements and use it as a starting point for your project. The Recent section shows all the recent projects that you have been working on. This section is helpful if you want to quickly access a project that you have recently worked on. The Created by Me section displays all the projects that you have created. This section is useful when you want to manage your projects or make changes to them. The Shared with Me section displays all the projects that other people have shared with you. This section is helpful when you collaborate with other people on a project. Finally, the Archive section shows all the projects that you have archived. If you want to delete a project, you can move it to the Archive section. Besides the left sidebar, you can also create a new project from the Projects tab. To create a new project, click on the Plus New Project button and follow the prompts to create a new project from scratch or use a template. The Team tab allows you to create and manage teams within the platform. With Teams tab, you can create a new team or join an existing one, and manage team members' roles and permissions. Once you open the Teams tab, you will see a left sidebar where all the teams you are a part of are displayed. You can create a new team by clicking on the Plus Add New Team button. However, it's worth noting that this option is only available to paid members. If you are using a free account, you won't be able to create a new team, but you can still join existing ones. The Account tab provides you with a range of options to manage your account settings. This includes managing your user profile and password, subscription and payment details, billing address, security settings, integrations with other platforms, and notifications. Within the Account tab, you can view and edit your personal information, such as name, email, and profile picture. You can also change your account password and set up two-factor authentication for added security. In addition, the Accounts tab allows you to manage your mock-up subscriptions and payment details. This includes upgrading or downgrading to different subscription plans, managing payment methods, and viewing billing history. You can also set up and manage integrations with other platforms, such as Google Drive or Dropbox. This allows for seamless file management and transfer between different applications. Finally, within the Account tab, you can manage your notification settings, such as email notifications for updates and changes to projects. Additionally, you have the option to delete your mockups account if you no longer require it.
And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using mockups. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for